remember well, within the volume of which time I have seen hours dreadful and things strange. But this sore night hath trifled former knowings. Ah, good father, thou seest the heavens, as troubled with man's act, threatens his bloody stage. By the clock tis day, yet dark night strangles the traveling lamp. Is night's predominance? Or the day's shame, that darkness does the face of earth entomb when living light should kiss it. Tis unnatural, even like the deed that's done. How goes the world, sir? Now. Why? See you not? It's known who did this. More than bloody deed. Those at Macbeth are slain. Alas, the day. What good could they pretend? They were suborned. Malcolm and Donaldbane, the king's two sons, are stolen away and fled, which puts upon them suspicion of the dean. Against nature, still. Thriftless ambition that will raven up thine own life's means. Then, tis most likely sovereignty will fall upon Macbeth. He is already named and gone to Schoon to be invested. Where is Duncan's body? Carried to Coombe Kill, the sacred storehouse of his predecessors and guardian of their bones. Will you to Schoon? No, Cos. I'll home to Fife. Well, I will thither. Well, may you see things well done there. And you? Lest our old robes sit easier than our new. Farewell, Father. God's benison go with you and with those that would make good of bad and friends of foes.